Okay, so I've just done day two. Um, this is actually a really quick video, a very simple project. Um, I pre-made a few of these. I'm just showing you some of the ones I've made. So what these are, um, the, the theme I had to follow was um, a handkerchief. So I've made um, like a double corner pocket with a handkerchief. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make one and there were a few mistakes some of them aren't great so I'll just go through what they are and maybe if you want to make something like this you'll be able to avoid the mistakes um, so I was just showing you how it can fit onto the corner of the book and there's actually two once you stick it down you just stick it down the two sides and then you'll have a double a double tuck space Okay, that was my first one I just showed you. It didn't really cut the lace very well, so it looks a bit weird. Um, I'd probably like, I don't know, put some paper on collage or something if I was to use that one. So all I've done is I've got some old hankies and I've just, I've just randomly cut them. They're not perfectly square. Um, I didn't measure and I'll have to trim a little bit later. So I got a piece of um, book page and I've just folded it in half. I'm just going to glue it down so it stays closed. Okay, I'm not putting the glue everywhere, just a little bit on the edges just to keep it close because I am going to stitch it. My sewing machine's just there ready to go. And now what I did with each one is I just, um, I used a little bit of PVA, just a thin line, just to put down a little piece of lace to cover that book edge, make it a bit more interesting. And some of them were like um, different types of cotton trims and laces. So this one is um, a piece of uh, lace that I've actually avocado dyed. So it's a pale shade of pink. So I'm only doing that to hold it in place because I will stitch it down. folding over my um, handkerchief to see if it fits and I realized I need to trim it down a little bit more so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm just lining it up again to see if it fits and just trying to fold it over so it's got a little bit of a neater edge. And I'm just finger pressing it. With some of the others I actually stitched along that diagonal line. Um, what I found with the hankies is when I stitched it, because they do stretch in that direction, um, it actually made them too long which was kind of weird so three of them I stitched and three of them I decided not to stitch so right now what I'm doing is I'm just going to sew along that lace to secure it just um, going to just put a tiny bit of PVA along the edge like I did with the lace just to secure that hanky in place um, and just to line it up as best I can um, still not quite perfect but I get there in the end I 
and once I've secured it in place I'm actually going to stitch along um, those edges as well. So you'll see me do that in a sec. just trimmed off the extra threads and any sort of extra bits of lace or fabric sticking out the edge and there I have my corner pocket number six that one is a bit neater um, sort of the first one I did was a was a little bit messy so just to show you one last time how you'd use it um, so in your junk journal you would just line it up with the corner of the page run the glue along the bottom and just down the side leaving the diagonal unglued so you'll end up with a double pocket. So here are the six different ones I've made with different types of trim and lace. That's the first one there. Don't like the way I cut the lace, it looks weird. Um, but the rest I think are okay. So it's all a bit of trial and error. Very simple project and very quick. Um, I hope you liked it and can um, develop some ideas for yourself. Okay, thanks for coming and watching. Bye.